Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have got a very exciting video. In today's video we're going to be checking out the all new, the brand new, hot off the press T-Motor VLOX SE Stack. <laughs> And this thing is packed with features, packed with awesomeness for an amazing price from a quality brand. You ain't going to want to miss this. Let's go. All right, pilot. So here's the deal. I am so excited about this because you literally have it all on one stack. Nothing really new per se. It's just that it's all there. And it's really cool because you think, well, what if I need this? Got it. What if I want this? Got it. What if I fly HD? Got it. What if I fly analog? Got it. What if I want to run eight motors instead of four motors? Got it. I mean, this guy literally has it all. What if I put my stack way up in there and I can't get to my USB-C connector? Got it. Bluetooth. This guy's got it all. So I'm excited to dive in and check this out. So really quick, let's go ahead and take a quick peeky. We've got our VLOX 50 amp ESC 4-in-1. And then we've got our VLOX F7 SE flight controller. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and crack this puppy open. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna peek in. Oh, 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 what what is that? I mean seriously, what is that? Okay, I don't know. You don't know. Maybe you know. I do know. But we're not gonna talk about it just yet. We're gonna go ahead and open up this ESC. Oh, and I just want to blow through this ESC really quick because. With an ESC, we just want to see some nice MOSFETs, we want to see a good layout, we want to see healthy pads, we want to see a thick board, and we want to see some good filtration. So I want to go ahead and pop this puppy out. Woo Look at that. Beautiful pads, plenty of space. Can't beat that. You've got pads on the top, the bottom, and the sides. So if you're in a sticky situation and you need to do what you got to do, you can do it. We've got big beautiful MOSFETs. We've got our MCUs laid out really nice. If we flip it over, we've got our four-in-one connector and we've got filtration up and down and all around. I mean, you really can't beat it. Look at that. Shunt resistor so we know what's going on with our voltage. And inside the package, you've got the XT60 connector and it's the good one. It's not the one with the heat shrink. You know, I know I say that all the time, but inside the bag, you've got everything you could ask for. Let's see what we got. Okay, you've got your plugs, you've got your cap. That's a pretty big cap. Uh, we do want a good size capacitor. We just don't want it so big that we can't fit it anywhere. Or once we do get it to fit, it's awkward or ugly or showing or exposed and could potentially cause a problem. We've got our yellow grommets, which is the T-Motor signature color for their stacks, which I like. So as far as the ESC goes, I'm going to call that A-OK. -okay. So let's go ahead and move this aside. Ooh, I want you to stop peeking. Holy cow, could you give us any more grommets? Look at this. Wow, look at this, look at this, look at this. <laughs> this is important for many reasons, and I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you why. You're gonna see why. You ready for this? This flight controller has it all. We talked about this earlier, okay? And you can solder anything you want anywhere you want you've got it it's there it's laid out it's labeled it's 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 beautiful it really is i've gone over this it's great okay we're gonna go over it together a little bit but what i want to show you is maybe you're that guy who just doesn't want to deal with that i don't want to deal with that don't give me that i don't want that i want to just plug and play and put my quad in the sky you ready that's right. You can literally just plug everything in right like that. <laughs> and you got all the plugs to do it. All right. Now we're going to go over these plugs really quickly so that you know what they are. But first, I do want to let you know that it is an F7 MCU. That is the STM32 F722. You guys are familiar with that. You've also got the ICM42 688P SBI edition gyroscope okay that's awesome and if you don't know where that is I'm gonna point that out for you it is right chia bow on board we've got dual becks we've got a 5 volt 2 amp and a 12 volt one and a half amp and I'm gonna point those out to you flip this puppy over and they are right here there's one beck 
and there is a second beck. So that is a dual beck. If you don't know what a beck is, it is a battery eliminating circuit. It's basically something that brings your voltage down to what you need it to be. So every flight controller is going to have a 3.3 and a 5 volt, right? Well, what if you're flying HD and you need 9 volts, 12 volts? You may not have that on board, and that's where this becomes impressive because it's all on there, right there, 12 volt. And I'm going to show you how you can actually switch your voltage. You can use the same plug, same connection, but switch the voltage to what you want it to be. All right, we've got Bluetooth. Holy cow. Since when does T-Motor have Bluetooth that'll work with Speedy B <laughs> and you don't have to have a Speedy B adapter or a Speedy B programming software, none of this nonsense. You just need to go on your phone, download the Speedy B app, and now you can do everything that anybody else can do right from their phone. You got it. All right, we've got six UARTs. That is fantastic. Let me show you this right here. You see this big old healthy chip? Nice and flat and sleek and slick. That is a Winbon 128. That is 128 MB black box storage. If you are a black box guy, you know what that is. You know that you need that. And it's great. Forget the SD card plugs and stuff. Forget that. We got it on board right here. Barometer. Barometer's right here. We've gone over pretty much everything. If I flip it over, there is one last chip right here. And this is a very common chip that we've seen for a very long time. And a lot of flight controller manufacturers are cutting this out because everybody's HD and they don't need analog OSD, but there are the analog guys who want an awesome flight controller who don't have the option to get OSD because they've removed it. So they got to be careful of what they're buying. With this guy, don't fret. You've got it right there. Betaflight OSD. Awesome. With our jumpers, on top of controlling your voltage that you would like for your pads, you can also set up pit mode, pit on, pit off, and that is super awesome. And I think the best way that I'm gonna be able to show this to you guys, along with the pads, is gonna be the Scopey Scope. All right, pilots, I'm excited to jump into this because it's a very nice layout. I just kind of skimmed over it, and they did a good job, they really did. This is quite impressive, so let's make it really quick. So what we're gonna do is I wanna show you guys these pads. This would be like your ESE stuff, right? So battery, ground, you know, you've got your control, you've got your telemetry, which this is, you know, R4. Uh, then you've got one, two, three, four, if you were gonna run just a regular four ESE deal, you know, I mean a four motor deal. Then you've got a five, six, seven, eight, if you were gonna run eight motors. So that's pretty cool that all that's there. We head down to this side, you've got three LEDs here. Let's not, you know, overlook that. You've probably got one that's let, if I follow these traces, I've probably got one, you know, that's letting me know that I've got MCU power. I've probably got one connected to like my 3.3 volt rail, letting me know that I've got power there. And then I've probably got another one that's actually letting me know that communication is happening. And I don't know, I don't know the layout of what they did, but I'm sure it's pretty cool and pretty helpful to have these, okay? Now, right here, we've got our first jumper. And this is where you can, you see, and it's, you don't have to try to figure it out. You don't, have, you don't have to pull out the instructions, which I don't think we got any, but I don't think you need those because watch this. It's telling you right here, this is your power. So look, here's your camera control, your actual camera, your ground and your power. So watch this. Look, you can go ahead and jump this over to 5 volt and make your power pad for your camera 5 volts or you can jump this pad to this pad and now you've got battery power or battery voltage going to this freaking power pad right here for your camera so it's really cool all right let's head on down really quick so you've got your connection here this is where you would put your gps or anything like that s c l s d a you've got t5 r5 ground 5 volts Beautiful laid components, but if we head down to this bottom right hand corner, you've got everything you need for your receivers. If you're going to run ELRS or TBS Crossfire, don't even think about it. You need these right here T1, R1, ground, and 5 volts. This is all you would need right here to go ahead and complete a basic receiver that we use every single day. If you've got anything special that you want to run at all, feel free to knock yourself out. You've got the same 5 volts ground. T1, R3, and an RSSI if you want to get signal strength and other things like that. Okay, so heading over here, we've got another jumper. You've got a 5 volt or a 10 volt option where you jump the pad to the middle to make this power pad become the voltage that you choose. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Then you've got your T2, R2, so you've got a UART. You've got your VO, I'm imagining video out. Yep, that is correct. And then you've got ground and your power that you get to choose. We've got our pit mode, look at that. So if you jumper that, you are gonna have pit mode active, okay? If you do not jumper that, you will not have pit mode active. And just so you're aware, all 10 volt pads are gonna be controlled by this pit mode. So just keep that in mind. So you got everything from buzzer minus, five volts, LEDs, grounds, extra five volts. What more could you ask for? We got a few testing points right here. You wouldn't touch those. This is where it gets super cool and this kind of blew me away. That is a added board that they kind of attached here, see it? And now you've got your Bluetooth capable board, barometer that we talked about, and now we're back up to the top. And this is your Belox F7 SE Special Edition flight controller. All right, pilots, don't forget, when it comes to T-Motor, we've got propellers. We've got the new Velox 3.0s. How cool would it be to run the new Velox 3.0 with your Velox 50 amp ESC and your Velox Special Edition F7 flight controller with everything on it that you could ask for? All right, pods. I hope that you guys will go out and get your own flight controller and ESC Special Edition. And I hope that you guys had as much fun as I did. And I will see you on the next one.